All right, good morning, everyone. We're going to get started. If, if you're uh, able to take a seat, please do so. And if not, we do have overflow space up in our uh, eagle's nest up there, up in the balcony, which is always good viewing. So. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. I'm town manager Julie Jacobson. I'm here with our assistant town manager, CFO, and next town manager, uh, Ed Kazanovich, today. And we are really thrilled to welcome all of you here to Auburn to bear witness and celebrate the swearing in of Auburn's next chief of police, Todd Lemon. Today's event is such an exciting one, and it's a really important one for Chief Lemon and for his family, for the Auburn Police Department, and for the town of Auburn citizenry and businesses. Before we get our program underway, Police Chaplain Jonathan Slavinskis would give the invocation. Please welcome him. I don't need clapping. That's nice, though. That's a nice touch. <laughs> I like that. And we begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, Thank you for this day that you have given to us and for this occasion that brings us together. In your love for us, you sent your son to be our shepherd and leader, our brother and our Lord. You continue to show your love for us by sending us leaders to assist and protect your people in time of need. We thank you for those who have guided the Auburn Police Department with commitment and faithfulness, laying a foundation for future generations that are called to protect and serve. Today, we ask you to bless Todd Lemon, as he takes up the responsibility of the Auburn Police Chief, guide him in his work, fill him with faithfulness, courage, and integrity, and let your spirit of wisdom and understanding be with him, and give him joy and peace in his heart as he begins this new journey. Finally, we pray for the safety and protection of all men and women of the Auburn Police Department as they discharge their duties to serve and to protect the people entrusted to the care. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Can everyone hear me? I'm sorry, okay, thank you. The ability to develop and build a strong leadership team is key to the effective operations of any management team, any department, any organization, and Auburn is no exception. Upon former Chief Lucas's retirement on February 1st, I was honored to appoint Chief Lemon as provisional police chief. Five months later, following completion of the assessment center and the civil service process, it is really an honor and a pleasure last night that I had to recommend to our select board the appointment of Todd Lemon as the permanent police chief. Per the Auburn Town Charter, last night the select board voted to confirm the appointment. This morning, we are all here to bear witness to the swearing in of Auburn's next chief of police and to congratulate him on this tremendous and well-deserved accomplishment. And I just have to say, I have texted the chief a couple of times, obviously, over the last couple of days talking about the event, and my automated text messages keep changing it from swearing in to sweating in. <laughs> so I've had to say to him, maybe it really is a sweating in. We're trying to keep it cool here for you. <laughs> um, but it, it is really, really an honor to be here, and especially to share it with all of you who came out today. We really appreciate it. I also want to acknowledge Todd's family his wife Marlene, his daughter Carly, and his son Corey behind me. We thank you for sharing your husband and father with us as we recognize the sacrifice that the police chief and his family and all law enforcement officials and their families make to protect our community. It is vital to have a police chief who can not only manage the daily operations and administration of the police department, but one who can develop and implement a vision for its future. The police chief needs to ensure that the department can continue to respond to the needs of the Auburn community, provide pro professional services, and uphold local, state, and federal laws and regulations in order to protect the citizens of this community. The chief needs to accomplish all of this while ensuring members of the department have the resources that they need to pro pro provide essential services to the community, provide community outreach and communications within town administration and the broader community at, at large, and instill confidence among the members of the department and amongst the community in the ability and the skills of our police department. Chief Lemon is up for this task. He's been in law enforcement for 34 years, and he's been with the town of Auburn for 27 years. During the past several months since I appointed him as provisional chief, I've had the pleasure and the opportunity to work closely with him. During this period, Chief Lemon has demonstrated his strong management skills, his vision for the department, 
his extensive knowledge and training in all levels of law enforcement. Under his leadership, I am confident that the Auburn Police Department will be well positioned for the many challenges that it faces both in the short term and in the long term. Over the past 11 years since I've known Chief Lemon, he's always been professional, responsive, diligent, compassionate, and we all know enthusiastic. He's a team player and he is a strong leader. Chief Lemon, I believe, and I share that, I know others share this with me, will be an excellent police chief for the community of Auburn, and he'll be an inspired leader for the town's department. While preparing my remarks for the event yesterday afternoon, I received an email from Paul Johnson, first assistant clerk magistrate, on behalf of the entire Worcester District Court staff. And I know he's here with us today, as is clerk magistrate DeAndrea. As most of you know, Chief Lemon was the liaison officer to the court. I can think of no better words to describe Chief Lemon than to quote First Assistant Clerk Magistrate Johnson. Quote, judges and lawyers alike view him as forthright and responsible. There was never a question regarding his truthfulness and professionalism. His reputation is beyond reproach. He is blessed with a wonderful sense of humor and is not afraid to poke fun at himself. These are vital skills for any manager, but essential for a chief of police. He is the consummate professional and will serve the community of Auburn with distinction. We are blessed to call him our friend. And now, I'd like to turn to Town Clerk Deborah Greenwell, why we're all here, to administer the oath of office to Auburn's new chief of police, Todd Lemon, if you'd like to go up to the platform. Do you, Todd Lemon, solemnly swear that you will be a true faith and allegiance to the United States of America and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and that you will support the Constitution and the laws thereof to help you guide? Do you also accept the office of Chief of Police on the police force as well as office of Keeper of the Lockup on the police force for the town of Auburn and agree and obey and be bound to such rules and regulations as are or may be from time to time laid down for the government of the police department of the town of Auburn and to carry out your duties as chief of police faithfully and partially and to the best of your ability. I will. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We have a couple of elected officials who are here today would like to say a couple of words, but before I do that, I just want to uh, thank all of you for, for being here today. There's too many people to thank, but I just see a couple of people. I just want to make a note. Um, District Attorney Joe Worley is here. Worcester Police Chief Steve Sargent is here. I mentioned Brian DeAndrea, Quirk Magistrate, as well as Paul Johnson. And I know there are numerous other chiefs, police officers, and others in the room. So forgive me. I also want to acknowledge Trisha Tarantino. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for your sacrifice on behalf of the community. So I'd like to now uh, introduce Doreen Goodrich, who's here to say a couple of words on behalf of Senator Michael Moore. Thank you, Julie. Um, it's such a personal privilege to be here for Todd. I'm speaking on behalf of my um, boss, but 
I go way back with Todd, and this is a special moment for me as well. Um, Senator Moore is away at a, a legislative conference and couldn't be here, but he certainly wanted me to send his best wishes and congratulations to Todd. As you know, when he was chairman of public safety and security, he worked with so many of you in the room here today, whether it's Secretary Turco, District Attorney Early, Chief Sergeant, Father Silvinkas, the Tarantino family. I mean, he, you know, his heart is in law enforcement, being a former law enforcement officer, and he truly looks forward to his continued relationship with you um, as the chief in his district. So congratulations. Representative Frost um, wanted to say a few words. He got tied up. He's on his way. If he's um, here in the next couple of minutes, I'm sure he will extend his own congratulations. But being the hometown representative from Auburn and also working closely with Todd, Todd, he uh, sends his sincerest congratulations and also looks forward to the continued working relationship. Thank you, everyone. Next, I'd like to ask uh, Scott Wren, who's the chairman of the Board of Selectmen, to come up. Welcome, Scott. Thank you, Julie. <clears throat> Uh, so yes, I am uh, Scott Wren, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen here in town. For all the court personnel here, um, you can just know me as Judge Wren's nephew. <laughs> uh, so I had the privilege and honor last night to confirm now Chief Lemon uh, to the position. It was one of the next two appointing uh, Ed as the next uh, town, uh, town uh, manager. It's one of the best votes I've gotten to take in my, my career as a Selectman. Uh, he's a man of a few words sometimes, and he said he loves the town. And he said he wouldn't embarrass us. Uh, he was short to the point, And I, I knew we made the right decision immediately. Uh, but also at that meeting, I was handed uh, an e the email from Paul Johnson. Uh, I had never read it before, so I read it out. And it, it really struck a chord with me immediately. Uh, in that email, there was an antidote about parents at a traffic hearing. Young man makes maybe speeding. Doesn't really matter what he's doing. Uh, the family's stressed. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of, you know, uh, concern when you go through something like that with, with a young kid. Todd would always lean over to the parents and say, I got one of those at home too, right? That hit me immediately. He'd show, he'd show empathy, he'd show kindness and understanding in these moments where we all know that the rule of law is the rule of law. That's our social contract. We need to abide by that. Uh, but when you fuse that with, with empathy and kindness, that's, that's the measure of a real leader, and I think that's what we got here uh, with Chief Lemon. So I really knew we made the right decision that the, the folks of Auburn are going to be well served. Um, and again, congratulations. Thank you. And now, I've been waiting a long time for this. It's been a long several months. I'm just so honored to have the opportunity to have appointed Todd Lemon as the next police chief in Auburn. I, I can't say enough good things about working with him, his personality. I've never heard him called a man a few words. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's my first. Um, but what I like, is Todd will always tell you the situation. He'll always tell you what you need to do, what he thinks you should do. And he'll always use his best judgment to make the best decision. That's the type of police chief that we want in this community. And we have it now with Chief Lemon. So I'd like to invite our new chief up to say a few words. Good morning, everybody. So I tried to prepare some speeches and I wrote some things down and it all looked terrible to me. <laughs> so I just decided I'm gonna to do today what I did last night and I'm gonna speak from the heart. Um, a lot of people in this room and up in the balcony who, uh, first of all, I'm honored that you're all here, deeply honored, who've shaped me in many ways, my family, my wife, my kids, my brother-in-law, Tommy, who's, uh, retired from Worcester PD with honor. Um, learned a lot of lessons from him. And uh, there's one guy in the middle of the room right there I'm staring at, Ron Miller, the former detective sergeant from the Worcester Police Department that came over to become the chief of police. And 27 years ago, I was in this room, a little nervous with uh, another uh, officer named Jeff Laurie. And Jeff and I were hoping to be laterally transferred to the Auburn Police Department. And um, after I was, it was confirmed uh, by the Board of Selectmen, Ron put his hand out and shook my hand. 
and said, maybe someday you'll be the police chief. I don't know if Ron remembers that, but I remember that. And did I think it was a possibility at that time? No, I was just really glad to be working here. So, so it was a big day. Um, some of you know and some of you don't know. I actually thought I may have been retiring in July, so I'm excited to have this position. I had, a, I had another uh, job offer totally out of police work and thought I was going to be wearing shorts and a sweatshirt for the next few years, but that took a 180-degree uh, turn. So um, I'm, I told the members of the board I fully understand the scope of my responsibility. I fully understand um, my duties that I owe to the town, our citizenry, our police officers to keep them safe. Uh, I boasted last night, I truly believe we have the best public safety off officers and police and fire on our police department, partnering with our communities in the city of Worcester and the Mass State Police and all the surrounding communities. I see a lot of the same people that I've come up through the ranks with on different departments who have supported me over the years, and I want to thank you deeply from the bottom of my heart. Um, I think really that's about it. Am I forgetting something? <laughs> All right. Sorry, a little nervous here. Um, so <clears throat> my sister, Lisa, sitting next to my brother-in-law, she, I like to brag about her, she's a respiratory therapist, and she was one of the ones that was recognized by uh, the Kraft family and they flew her. Um, to the Super Bowl, she gives back 110%. She's a UMass respiratory therapist. Um, my daughter, Carly, couldn't be prouder than her. She's an ICU trauma nurse, and uh, she worked at UMass for quite some time now. And she's at Mount Auburn, and the big guy here behind me, Corey, is a firefighter paramedic. It was something that I started out, I was an EMT first in high school and into college, and I always aspired to be a paramedic. I just thought that they did unbelievable work and, uh, and just saved lives. And he went on to, to do something that I, was, I never retained. So I don't think I tell him enough, but I'm extremely proud of you, Corey. My wife, who's put up with all my BS over the years and <laughs> late shifts and order-ons and um, a crazy schedule, I appreciate it. I couldn't have done it without you. And... Um, and that's about it. I, I really appreciate the, the, the comfort, Father Franey. Um, I got to meet Father Franey, who's the chaplain for the Mass State Police, or one of the chaplains, and I met him through my firearms licensing job. I appreciate all the support and invite anyone that would like to attend this coming Friday for a far less social event that I will not be speaking at, <laughs> at the Worcester Ice Arena at uh, 6 o'clock this Friday evening, upstairs. So thank you very much. Once again, thank you all for coming. It means a lot to our Auburn family here, Chief Lemon's family, and the Auburn Police Department. We thank you, and one last round of applause for our new police chief. Mr. Early, I, sit you, I see you sitting in the back of the room, and you've heard me talk about my formative years in the courthouse, and that certainly uh, transcends through the, the DA's office and all your skilled prosecutors and support staff. So thank you very much. I'm deeply honored that you're here. Please stay. Uh, mingle. We've got some refreshments, light refreshments over here, a beautiful, a beautiful cake. And uh, again, thank you and have a great day. Be safe.